Good morning on this Thursday. I'm Kimberly Van Scoy. And I'm Devontae McKenna. Right now we are tracking weather damage from those high winds and heavy rain that fell overnight. A down tree is closing Apache Drive right now in Walburg. And this is between the border of Forsyth and Davidson County. That tree actually knocked down some power lines and industry crews are making their way to the scene at this hour. Meanwhile, we are also keeping an eye on a serious situation in Wilkes County. Yeah, a massive sinkhole is growing off of Highway 421 in Wilkesboro. This is a look at it yesterday, and remember, it's been raining all night. It's located on private property, but is threatening several nearby businesses, including a Taco Bell. Town leaders say they are working with the property owner to find a solution. Meanwhile, we are keeping an eye. Uh, meanwhile, we are also keeping an eye on the weather, of course, and all of this and how it's affecting us. Yeah, it's uh, not good effects, uh, at least as far as the drought situation goes. That's a positive thing as we've erased that. Uh, for the moment, but uh, too much rain too quickly. And in fact, this morning, the threshold for flooding is lower than it was just because it's been raining so much of late. A couple of inches of rain have fallen over Rockingham County this morning, prompting a flood warning there. Uh, no reports of flooding as of yet, but high water is possible. And just a few minutes ago, uh, National Weather Service in Raleigh issued an aerial flood warning uh, for the much of Forsyth County, most of the eastern half, western Guilford County, and extreme northern Davidson County for another two inches of rain that has fallen on saturated ground. You can see that heavy weather continues to stream in from the south. Uh, the first warning you can see that area is still raining very heavily from Bethany up toward the central area. Uh, Mayaden, Madison back toward Reedsville. We're seeing that second warning again. The rain is beginning to lift down and should start to lighten up fairly soon, but the water is still running off these areas and could choke some of the storm drains in urban areas. Low spots that typically flood may flood, and you also have to keep an eye on some of the smaller waterways, the creeks and the streams spottier down towards Salisbury, Lexington, but more rain will return later today as we take a bit of a, a wider view of things and then spotty showers still remain in many of our mountain locations. It's muggy, it's warm, very gray this morning. Uh, bring the umbrella with you. You're going to need it from time to time today because rains that although are fairly limited early on uh, in our far eastern areas will start to pick up in coverage as we hit the afternoon. High around 81 degrees today with more of this Friday before we start to break the pattern down. So we'll talk about that in more detail and what we can expect for your weekend plans outside coming up in just a few minutes.